Hello, dear learners. You know what time it is. We studied 10B. Now it's time to practice American English File Second Edition Book One Workbook Part 10B. All right. Couch surf. Do you remember couch surfing? Yeah. Now we have two exercises A and B. A. Order the words. Order the words to make sentences. For example, look at the first one. How are you going to get there? Question mark. Part B. Complete the sentences. Use the correct form of going to. For example, number one. Are they going to leave by train? Question, right? Okay. You know it. It's really easy. I believe in you. Stop the video and do it. Good. Check your answers with your partner. Good. Okay, let's do it together. Number two. He isn't going to stay in a hotel. Number three. They're going to show me the city. Number four. We're going to have a good time. Five. When is she going to go home? Six. I'm not going to see the sights. Well done. Part B. We're going to show our friends the city. Number three. They're going to have nice meals in expensive restaurants. Number four. Are you going to stay with a friend? Number five. They're not going to visit the museum. Number six. Are they going to see the sights? Number seven. He is going to meet a lot of people. And number eight, she's not going to go on vacation this year. Well done, everybody. You did very good. All right. Now, everybody, we have a dialogue. We need to complete this dialogue with uh, be going to, right? Good. So let's do this one together. So where are you going to go on vacation? I'm going to travel around the U.S. for a few weeks. Really? Where are you going to stay? Well, this year, I'm not going to sleep in hotels. Instead, instead, I'm going to couch surf. Couch surf, what a great idea. Are you going to travel alone? Yes, I am. My best friend is going to drive to San Diego with some friends. They're going to spend all day on the beach and they're going to dance all night. I don't like that kind of vacation. I'm going to meet a lot of new people and see a lot of new places. Which states are you going to visit? Virginia first, then North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. My couch surfing hosts are going to show me the sights. I'm going to have a great time. Excellent, everyone. Now, everybody, vocabulary. Write the expression in the correct place go back home have see show stay and part b complete the text with the verbs from a right for example Mar maria is really happy because she's going to go on a vacation tomorrow as always stop the video and do it good check your answers with your partner or with your friend very good let's do it together Go back home, go by train, go for a week, go on a vacation. Have. Have a good time, have nice meals. See. See the sights, see somebody. Show. Show somebody around your town. Stay. Stay for a week in a hotel with a friend. All right. Now, let's complete the text together. Maria is really happy because she's going to go on a vacation tomorrow. She is going to stay with her cousins in Buenos Aires. They're going to show her around the city and she is going to see all the sights. They're going to have a lot of nice meals together. She is going to go by plane and she is going to stay in Buenos Aires for a week. The second week, Maria and her cousins are going to travel to the coast. They're going to stay in a hotel and they're going to have a great time. 
Maria is going to go back to Buenos Aires before she goes home. Well done. All right. In the next part, everybody, listen and underline, underline the stressed words. The stressed words. File 10B. Pronunciation. A. 1. How are you going to get there? 2. Where are you going to stay? 3. We're going to stay for a week. 4. I'm going to see the sights. 5. We aren't going to go by car. 6. I'm not going to stay in a hotel. Okay, very nice. So, these are the stressed words. How are you going to get there? Where are you going to stay? We're going to stay for a week. I'm going to see the site. We aren't, in, when it's negative, we aren't going to go by car. I'm not going to stay in a hotel. Now, everybody, listen again and repeat. Practice. File 10B. Pronunciation. B. 1. How are you going to get there? 2. Where are you going to stay? 3. We're going to stay for a week. Four. I'm going to see the sights. Five. We aren't going to go by car. Six. I'm not going to stay in a hotel. Okay, well done. Very good. Now, everybody, we have a listening. Listen to four speakers talking about their first experience, first time couch surfing. How many people did not enjoy the experience? All right. So four people are going to talk about their first time couch surfing. How many people did not enjoy the experience? Okay, are you ready? Let's listen. File 10B. Listening. Speaker 1. I had my first experience couch surfing in China. I wanted to spend a few days in a city called Guilin, so I made contact with a Chinese guy named Leo. Leo was the perfect host. He gave me a bed, he organized a dinner that other couch surfers came to, and he showed me around the city. I loved it, and I'd recommend it to anyone. Speaker 2 My first couch surfing experience did not go well. I was in Boston, in the state of Massachusetts in the U.S., and I found a college student who agreed to host me. First, he was late, and then he didn't stop talking about himself all night. In the end, I said I was tired and went to bed. The next morning, I left Boston and took the train to New York City, where my host was an older woman, and I had a much better time. Speaker 3 I'm Canadian, and my first couch surfing experience was in New Orleans in the state of Louisiana in the U.S., I wanted to do some research for a novel I'm writing, so I needed to meet as many people as possible. My sister told me about the website, so I decided to try it out. In the end, I stayed with someone different every night, and I got a lot of ideas for my book. Speaker 4 I was in Australia working when I found out about the Couchsurfing website. I wanted to travel around the country on weekends, but I didn't know anyone. 
A friend suggested looking at the couch surfing website, and I'm very happy that I did. I now have friends all over Australia, and some of them are going to visit me in the U.S. when I go back next month. Okay, so how many people did not enjoy the experience? Well, one. All right, now I want you to listen again. Match the speakers, speaker one, two, three, and four, to A, B, C, and D. Listen and match. File 10B. Listening. Speaker 1. I had my first experience couch surfing in China. I wanted to spend a few days in a city called Guilin, so I made contact with a Chinese guy named Leo. Leo was the perfect host. He gave me a bed, he organized a dinner that other couch surfers came to, and he showed me around the city. I loved it, and I'd recommend it to anyone. Speaker 2 My first couch surfing experience did not go well. I was in Boston, in the state of Massachusetts, in the U.S., and I found a college student who agreed to host me. First, he was late, and then he didn't stop talking about himself all night. In the end, I said I was tired and went to bed. The next morning, I left Boston and took the train to New York City, where my host was an older woman, and I had a much better time. Speaker 3 I'm Canadian, and my first couch surfing experience was in New Orleans in the state of Louisiana in the U.S. I wanted to do some research for a novel I'm writing, so I needed to meet as many people as possible. My sister told me about the website, so I decided to try it out. In the end, I stayed with someone different every night, and I got a lot of ideas for my book. Speaker 4 I was in Australia working when I found out about the couch surfing website. I wanted to travel around the country on weekends, but I didn't know anyone. A friend suggested looking at the couch surfing website, and I'm very happy that I did. I now have friends all over Australia, and some of them are going to visit me in the U.S. when I go back next month. Okay, well done, very good. Check your answers with your partner, everyone. All right, these are the answers. All right, were you right? Good. All right, now we have a reading, Traveling by Interrail. So you're going to read this reading first, and then you're going to answer the questions with A for Angela, J for J. S for Sophia, uh, or T for Tomo. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. Now, since 1972, backpackers have enjoyed the freedom to explore 30 European countries thanks to the Interrail Pass. Here, Interrail travelers say why they love Interrail so much. Angela Bowman, 23, the US. So these are the cities that uh, Angela has been to. Amsterdam, Hamburg, Berlin, Warsaw, Krakow, Prague, Vienna, Budapest, Zagreb, uh, Split, Mostar, Sarajevo, Belgrade. All right. So I love Interrail because you can go where you want, when you want. When we started our trip, we had an idea of where we wanted to go. But as we traveled, we got new ideas. Changing our plans was easy. You can stay an extra night or two if you like a place. And if you don't like it, you can go somewhere else. The Interrail Pass gives you freedom. Real freedom. Okay, the next person is Jay Anahan, 26, Canada. One of the best things about Interrail is that you get cheaper or even free travel on ferries as well as trains. I traveled to Split in Croatia. Croatia and then took the ferry to Pescara in Italy. Then I traveled by Interrail to the south of Italy and then took the ferry to the Greek island of Corfu. 
it was fantastic. You, you also get discounts on hotels, tourist attractions and a lot more. Next one is Sofia Valenzuela, 26 Mexico. In six weeks, I met so many new interesting people and I made friends from all over the world. It's a cheap way to travel too, especially if you take the night trains. I saved a lot of money on accommodations this way. I really want to go into railing again. All right, and the next one is Tomo Nagasaki, 21 years old, Japan. So, this was the first time I'd left Japan and I loved it. Interrail is safe and easy for the first time travelers. I got an interlane global pass so I could take as many trains as I wanted. I saw many amazing places and I learned about a lot about Europe's culture and history. I visited over 15 cities in less than a month. I'm definitely going to do it again next year. Okay, so which, which person made new friends while traveling? Sophia. Who spent very little on accommodations? Sophia, who used his or her interlane pass on another form of transportation? It was Jay, who was traveling abroad for the first time, Tomo, first time out of Japan. Which person found it easy to make new plans while traveling? Of course, Angela. Well done, everybody. Now, these are some words that you can use. Couch, couch, roommate, roommate, a host, a host, create a profile, create a profile. Recommend things to do. Recommend things to do. Have a good trip. Have a good trip. It's free. It's free. Things didn't work out. Things didn't work out. Well, okay. Another one in the basket. If you have any questions, comment it down below and I will get back to you. Remember, you are going to save yourself. Become disciplined. It doesn't matter if you're tired. You gotta do what you gotta do.